New Zealand's TB free program uses wild pigs to track where bovine tuberculosis still exists in wildlife. Wild pig surveys provide important data that guides the design of TB free's possum control program. They help to show where TB has been removed from wildlife so that possum control for TB purposes can finish. Research shows that TB in pigs nearly always comes from some other species, mostly possums. We use pigs as an um, indicator species of TB because they have a really large home range, um, significantly larger than, than possums. Uh, and they're also a uh, scavenging species, so they do tend to uh, pick up TB pretty efficiently if there is TB in the environment. So the prevalence of uh, TB in pigs and the wild pig population is largely just a reflection of what's happening in the environment around them. Finding an infected pig indicates it has likely picked up the disease from infected wildlife in that area. This helps determine where targeted possum control is needed. So the areas we're collecting pigs from are areas with a history of cattle testing and possum surveys and they're getting closer to eradication so it's important um, to have a species such as a pig that's a really good sentinel for disease. If TB is not found in pigs, there is more confidence that disease has been removed from the possum population. Where TB is present in possums, it is highly likely it will also be present in the area's pigs. In areas where there's been no control and all vector species are infected, uh, pig prevalence can be as high as 85-90% from year to year to year. Uh, that drops away rapidly as soon as possum control is undertaken until eventually the TB will die out completely from the pig population. So they're a reflection of what's going on in the environment around them. Pigs are not believed to maintain TB infection. In the absence of any other species, they're picking up that infection from the possum population. Once you control the possum population, the disease falls out of the pig population. Wild pig populations are not controlled under the TB free program as the control of pigs alone has no effect on the persistence of TB. Because pigs are scavengers, just to give an example, um, one pig could represent the equivalent to a hundred cattle tests, five ferrets or up, up to a sort of a thousand possums depending on the way they're sampled. Because they scavenge, they are picking up a lot of infection present in the environment if it is present. Whereas with possum infection, possums generally die quite quickly after becoming infected. So there's very few of them in the environment infected at any one time. For all types of surveys, the age of the captured pig helps identify the earliest date the pig could have become infected and whether it was born after possum control operations in the area. The older the pig is, the longer it's had to pick up TB and the larger area that it would have been in in its lifetime. So a younger pig will tell you more about what's happening in more recent times and in a smaller geographical area than an older pig will. Pigs are just aged on tooth eruption, so tooth eruption in pigs is quite, quite a quick way to age pigs up to the age of 42 months. After that uh, you need to section the teeth and you look at the growth rings in the teeth um, just as, as you would for a, a tree with different growth rings for the season. The TB Free program uses three types of surveys to collect pigs for sampling. So we've got several methods of collecting pigs and we try to use the most efficient method based on each specific area. So we can use ground hunters and that's general pig hunters that live in an area will go collect pigs for us and they need to meet certain requirements and that's around GPS coordinates of their hunting for the day, the location of capture, they have to use tags to identify the animals and take photos of, of the location and capture as well. We also have other methods where we use helicopter hunting. In areas where we don't have lots of pigs or the pigs are hard to find, we can use slightly more novel approaches such as sentinel pigs, which is where we release a pig into the location, leave it there for a period of six months or so, and then come back and recover that pig based on the fact that it is tagged and we can locate it again and see if it's picked up the disease while it was in there. We also can use Judas pigs, which is a pig that is released into the area after being captured in the same location, and it's tagged and identified, and then we go in every month and shoot the pigs that it finds, because generally they'd like to be um, sort of a group, and so then we just keep coming back and sampling the population that they're in. In pigs, TB lesions are usually found in the head, below the jaw. So as soon as a pig is killed at a particular site, um, it's immediately tagged where it lies 
it has a capture location, it has a time of day, it has the date, it has other information. That pig head is then uh, removed off, off the animal. They then get submitted to a laboratory for post-mortem and then further analysis. Uh, each of the heads are identified and signed out from one contractor, signed into the next contractor, so every single head has paperwork that follows it throughout the process. Examining a wild pig's lymph nodes gives valuable information about TB infection in the area where it was caught. Any suspicious samples from surveys are sent straight to laboratories for diagnostic testing. Any positive TB samples are DNA strain typed to assess the likely source of the infection. This is compared with strain types that have been found in the area. If the strain type is not one normally identified from the area, it might indicate a pig has been shifted into the area or a new strain of TB has been introduced into wildlife. Compared to other methods, pig surveys are one of the most cost-effective measures of actually finding bovine tuberculosis in possum populations. Wild pig surveys are another scientific innovation developed in New Zealand and are critical to the goal of achieving TB freedom in wildlife. Ultimately, they'll help achieve the goal of eradicating bovine TB from New Zealand by 2055. Find out more about using wild pig surveys for TB research at osprey.co.nz.